running a little area of errand. About to pick up one of the kiddos, my 16 year old. No, she's almost about to be the 17, but about to pick up my 16 year old from her uh, little summer job. Uh, and I was sitting up thinking, you know, I normally do all of my videos in the morning, and I decided to stop off in the evening because uh, as much as I put an emphasis on uh, the importance of starting your day and how you start your day governs and dictates how you move through your day, it's also extremely important to uh, have a gauge on how you end your day. Uh, and as I'm unwind, unwinding now, uh, I've come home, you know, went to work, went to work out, came home, went to the, my home office, did a couple of things. I've spent about an hour with the wife. Uh, where I'm at right now is 7.30, almost 7.30, somewhere up in there. And now I'm on the way to pick up the baby. Uh, I'll get her back and then I'll complete my unwinding process, uh, which will end with meditation and journaling. Uh, and why is it important? Because what you spend your time thinking about and focusing on as you go to sleep will carry off into your sleep and determine the level of sleep you get, the kind of sleep you get, uh, whether you can have creative or productive dream states. All of this stuff is governed by something that you actually control. You control how you enter into the night phase of your life. If you spend your night phase 7, 8, 9, 10 o'clock stressing, you spend your night phase worried about what's going to happen, how this is going to get done, what's going to happen here, how horrible the day went, then you're going to have a bad night's sleep. You're going to have an unproductive sleep. You may toss and turn. You're not going to get into REM sleep. And even if you get into REM sleep, you're probably going to have negative dream states. All of this stuff can be governed by how you close out your day. And one thing that I do for my clients is I will prepare for them. Uh, I will prepare for them uh, what's called uh, theta state uh, affirmations and what that's meant to do is it's a video I mean excuse me it's an uh, audio uh, of our affirmations about specifics that are important to them in the positive present state so I am debt free I am relentless I am successful I am managing my money right. I am making good decisions. I am accomplishing my goals. I am, I am. And it's set at a pace and it's set in a loop and it's constant. And what happens as, as you drift off into your state of theta, which is that level of uh, unconsciousness, right, uh, subconsciousness or unconsciousness right beneath your conscious state, um, of beta, then you go off into theta, and that is where they, it's also known as the hypnotic state. And children uh, before the age of six or seven are always, almost always, in a state of theta. They're absorbing everything. Their mind is being shaped while they learn uh, by what they learn, by what they see, by what they observe and encounter, and it's setting the paradigms through which they'll live life. What's possible, what's not possible, uh, who they are, what they are, what they're capable of, is all being shaped in those first six to seven years by what they hear, by what they encounter. Well, you can actually recreate that during theta, that point of time when you're dozing off to sleep, right past consciousness where your consciousness cannot filter what you hear. Yes, if you're sitting up with $200,000 of debt and you and you say to yourself, I'm debt free, your consciousness is gonna say, you full of crap. But if you can get past that conscious state and you can actually sit up and get into theta and then theta is unfiltered. It's taking it in, it doesn't resist it, it's logging in. The more repetitive it is, the more frequent it is, the more the brain begins to believe it. The more the brain begins to believe it, the more the brain shapes behavior surrounding it. You literally are behaving based off of beliefs. Most of the beliefs that you are uh, 
basing your behavior off of are limiting beliefs. Beliefs that say, I can't do this. It's impossible to do that. I've always done it this way and I've always gotten these results. I, and so you've got to get past those limiting beliefs and the way to do that is to create new beliefs. The easiest way to create new beliefs that are in diametric opposition to your current beliefs is to go into a state where you can't resist the suggestion, the hypnotic state of theta, where you can sit up and literally create an entire new narrative surrounding your life that your brain will ev ev eventually uh, embody, embrace, and start to shape behaviors and responses around. So even when you have a bad day, your brain simply says, it's just a bad moment. I'm successful, I'm debt free, I'm blah, blah, blah. Why? Because that's what's been embedded in it. This isn't some far out, far uh, th tossed notion. This is science. This is stuff that has been studied, stuff that has been proven. It works. It works with my clients. I use it in so many different ways in my life. It's crazy. I'm always uh, putting myself in a state. And I found ways to actually reach theta while actually functioning in a conscious state. But that takes time. That takes practice. I'm always putting things at, at beneath my consciousness that align with where I'm headed. I'm never talking about where I'm at. I'm always talking about where I'm headed and I'm always talking in the present tense. I'm teaching my brain to believe it's already been done. And I have had great success with my clients doing the same thing. Whatever you do, give your uh, evening time a great deal of attention. How you close out a day is going to be immensely important. Do not undervalue it. Do not underestimate it. And you will find out that you will be able to accomplish some unbelievable things. I'm going to get out here. If you want to reach out to me, there will be uh, links in the description box. There will be links in the description box. There will be ways you can reach me. Uh, I have about three slots for full-time clients, which range anywhere from three months to a year. Uh, if you're serious about putting in some time to change your life, reach out to yours truly. I uh, would love to work with you. Uh, I'm going to put this on a number of different channels, even channels I wouldn't normally put it on, uh, like my Black Voice channel, but I'm going to uh, put it out there. Whoever wants to really truly invest in doing something different in their life, and apply a proven science and methodology to it so that you can get uh, proven results. Reach out to me, let's connect, let's make it happen. On that note, I'm gonna get out of here. And as I always say, I'm going to live my life on full so that when I leave this place, I die on E. And that's my simple way of saying that I'm not going to leave any of my potential untapped. I'm not going to take anything that I should have done in this life to the grave with me. And I'm challenging you to live your life on full. There's no greater legacy than there's no greater inheritance that you can leave your 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 loved ones than your legacy. And there's no greater legacy than to say you came, you saw, and you conquered. It wasn't easy, but you got the job done. On that note, I'm out of here. You guys have an unbelievable day.